Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I have an example where there is a button, but initially it's hidden, display none. Only after a second and a half it becomes visible. So if I restore the test you can see it's invisible and then it appears on the page right here. So how would you check if an element is visible or becomes visible? There are a couple of ways. The simplest one, the one that I would always use probably, is to get that element button and say should be visible. So it will retry and retry and retry until the button becomes visible or times out after four seconds by default. Again, retries, 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 shows that the button initially was invisible with this cross icon, but then assertion says, yeah, it became visible. Simplest, most natural way is to retry using built-in retryability in Cypress. We can also express the same thing slightly differently. We can write a callback that will receive a jQuery element that could be empty. And here we can say if this jQuery element, how would you check if it's visible or not? Well, there is a Cypress DOM object that has a large collection of utility methods. Let's open DevTools, we'll go to the console, and if you look at Cypress DOM, then there are a bunch of methods that you can use, you know, to check if an element is visible, if it's a document, detached, focus, and so on. So in this case, we'll say if it's not is visible with jQuery element, then we're gonna throw an error, right? Just ourselves invisible and look what happens it throws an error goes back to the site get query command gets the element again checks if it's visible throws an error now this works unfortunately it doesn't give you a nice uh, green assertion in the command log okay so anytime you throw your own errors you don't get a good assertion pass message you will still get an error if the element uh, doesn't pass by assertions. Well, if you can use a predicate like this that returns true or false, then you can use a third way of checking if element is visible. So right here you can say, okay, should, and there is a built-in chai assertion called satisfy. We will just pass a predicate function and it will get the value, the subject value from the previous command. Works exactly the same way and has a nice command log too. Finally, sometimes you don't have to check if element is visible. For example, if all you want to do is click on it, well, guess what? The command click, just like many commands like type, check, they operate like a real user. So the click will actually wait for the element to become visible before it clicks. Check this out. I'm going to save it and notice that the click is retrying. Not because it's retrying actual clicking operation. No, it retries finding an element that is visible or becoming visible. Okay. And only after it becomes visible, it clicks just once. So three different ways that you can find in my recipes at Cypress example site, that I will link in the description of this video.